Pandemic bangs are here as a result of hair salons being closed and people are now feeling the urge to trim their hair or change their whole look. In fact, Google saw an increase in the search words pandemic bangs and how to cut your own hair at home in the past couple of weeks. The young people of TikTok had the hashtag your trending bangs, cut your and Pink even got drunk and cut her own hair. When I drink, I get really, really brilliant ideas. And last night, I got an idea. I can cut hair. I can totally cut hair. Why have I been paying people all this time? Look what I did. Now we're not all going crazy because there is some science behind these impulsive beauty decisions. In difficult, painful, or traumatic times, change can be a way of coping with emotions. That's why many people change physical things about themselves when they go through a big breakup. It's it's something that we can control and it's it's sort of therapeutic. Plus we got an okay from Brad Mondo. I know half of you are gonna do it anyways and I'd rather you do it well. So let's do this. So the last time I went to Korea, I got my hair done by a master. I went in with this blank cut, not knowing what to expect, and left with a very curvaceous, bouncy semblance and a slightly different face. Oh, you're doing my makeup. Okay. His only advice to me was to stop bleaching my hair and to stop cutting my own bangs. Grow that. Mm. About two months ago, I went back to my natural color, which I am so glad I did right now. So yeah, I've kept my promise on both things. I haven't cut my bangs. I haven't bleached my hair. This shit's getting out of hand though. and <laughs> I don't have a choice. I need a little bit of something in here, like a little texture, I don't know, something. I need to cut my own hair. That's what we're doing today. Also, he put out this video, which is sending me a lot of mixed messages. And I feel like he can't be that mad if I follow this and apply his techniques when cutting my hair. Maybe he won't even notice. Maybe he'll just think this is his own previous work. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna watch this together. We're gonna follow it. I am going to try to cut my own bangs and this like face framing area. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll be good at it and get some confidence and uh, try some other, I don't know what's gonna happen. I had thin wispy bangs once upon a time and by that I mean four tiny pieces of hair on my forehead that I cut because of baby spice. I probably did those myself too and it didn't look anything like hers but they were on the wispy side so who would have thought I would have been ahead of my time because now the trend in Korea is to have very thin wispy bangs so this time I'm not gonna cut as many. I'm gonna cut just a few shorter pieces and then sort of taper these ones on the side. There's one slight problem though. I don't have proper shearing. I think it's shearing scissors they're called. The ones that they use to cut hair, like really sharp ones. Um, so we're gonna have to use just regular like kitchen scissors, which are a bit too blunt and aren't so good for your ends. But I'm, I don't really want to invest in shearing scissors because I hope that this will be over soon and I can go to the hair salon and get a proper good cut and that I don't have to do this again. No, actually first we're gonna... Babe, can you help me with something please? Can you help me with something? If I hold this, can you cut this off? No way. Please. No way. <laughs> I need a haircut and I want to... Go to hair salon to me. I can't, we're in quarantine. No way. They've helped me. No. I think he's not taking me seriously. Are you sure? Yeah, if I do it, it's not going to be good. So I need you to help me. No, why did you do that? Because I, I want to cut my, give myself a haircut. No, go to salon. <laughs> okay, I'll do it myself. All right, so what you're going to need is two clips and a comb and a brush. I have these two. First, you want to section off your bangs and your face framing pieces. So it looks like she grabs like a small triangle shaped piece in the middle. And then you're supposed to cut upwards on both sides. short are we going here? About between, about here. Okay, so far so good. I used to cut my bangs all the time when I had a blank cut. That was really easy because I just cut one straight line. 
I was still cutting in an upward direction, but I knew exactly where it needed to go. This one's a little bit more complicated. Oh. Okay, so she's grabbing the side pieces now. She's cutting them on an angle. Okay, oh, she's already styling, that's it. Whoa, that was easy. I feel like I should be doing this with a thick curling iron, but I'm gonna try this way to just curl around my ends like how he did. And now for the bang, so all you wanna do here sort of, again, curve them outwards. Oh, that's too much. This is still too long, wait. It goes short and then long. So I need some angle here. Oh, and these are uneven. Oh, that looks like a wing. <laughs> looks like I'm in the 70s. Why doesn't this look like her? I don't know if I should try to match them or just give up and grow out my bangs during this time. Or I just keep cutting because I feel like I'm gonna get too short at one point. I just keep curling these like something's gonna magically happen with a straightener. Somehow they'll magically fall in place. This looks like a mustache for my head. Why is this one still longer? I just got you. This kind of looks like it from the side. I think it's two main things. One, I don't have the same hair texture. Like, my hair is more fine. Asian hair is a bit thicker and uh, I have way more bangs. I have too much bangs and I also cut them too short. So I don't think I'm gonna look, I just look like I'm in the 70s. And I don't think this is gonna get any better. It's not that bad, it's just not exactly what I was envisioning. Oh no. Okay, I think we're just gonna, <laughs> I envy the, the influencers that are killing it right now. Like. <laughs> So many people are going in, they're just do killing all these workouts every morning, they're getting abs during this quarantine, they're becoming beauty gurus, they're amazing at makeup, they're amazing at cooking. <laughs> but then this type of thing can either inspire you or discourage you. Sometimes I find myself lying in bed like I've been doing all day for a couple days and I just look at that and I'm like, oh. Why can't I do that? Sometimes everything can feel very overwhelming. And um, yeah, some days I wanna get out there and be productive. Like yesterday I tried to make this Japanese egg souffle and I failed at that. Today I failed at cutting my hair. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. <laughs> what idea I'll have in my head that I'll try and do, but that's okay, it's just hair. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I feel like I can work with this maybe if I style it a little bit differently or I can push it back or push it oh, I have really short bangs now. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'm doing just fine. Yeah, I think during this time we can all put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be more productive, do more, try this, do this, look at this person creating this masterpiece, I should try that and then when it doesn't turn out it's like, oh, I suck at life, <laughs> everything's going wrong, the world is ending. You need to just slow down, not compare yourself. Um, Everyone feels a little different during these times. Everyone has on and off days. We're not all gonna come out of this with good haircuts. Now it's kind of like my eyebrows. My bangs are not twins, they're sisters. You're really losing your hair in the front. You mean it looks like I'm balding? I told you to go to salon. So if you've been wanting to cut your hair for a while, then now's the time because no one's gonna see you for days, weeks, months, unless you want them to. And if you screw it up, then only your husband will think you're balding. I'll link this tutorial below if you wanna check it out yourself. I feel like if you're interested in bangs, this one, 
uh, is a little bit easier to do. It's a little bit more forgiving because it's feathering. Even if it doesn't turn out perfectly, you can still kind of work with it when you style it. Um, maybe you'll be better at it than I am. And also if you have a thicker texture hair, I feel like it's gonna look like hers and it's gonna look really good. I will be growing out my bangs and I'm very much looking forward to my next trip to Korea or the next time I can see a professional hairstylist. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon in my next video.